So online, I start with a module zero, which I made students move through it pretty quick this year and get started with the module one. Mm -hmm. So my online students are actually about a week ahead of my on-campus students. Ah. Which I think turned out well because I think students got a better taste of what the course was like before the drop deadline. But module zero, um, one of the things that the students need to do is, there we go, meet the instructor via Zoom. Uh -huh. I say attend an early appointment. So I had additional office hours via Zoom in the first two weeks. And I told students just, just show up and they need to spend about 10 minutes talking to me. They're welcome to stay on longer. I want to introduce them. I want them to be able to practice sharing their screen or at least somebody see somebody else share their screen. If anybody has trouble with their computer setup, then I can just help them get it set up right then. Um, a few students have connected and found study buddies on the call. Um, not too many, I wish more would. But it gives them a chance to talk to me and to get to know who I am. And I've found that more students have been coming to virtual office hours since I started doing this. Interesting. That's so cool. Do you find, what kind of pushback do you get from students to do this? It seems like I usually have one to two students who are choosing not to do this. I mean, it's worth five points out of a thousand in the course. So it's really not a big part of their grade, but most of the students want to do it. Most of them are sort of curious, well, wait, how, do, how does this thing work? What, what is this Zoom thing? And I do my best to make my schedule work to meet theirs. So if somebody says, hey, you know, I'm, I'm at work late, you know, can, can we meet at this other time? As long as it's not conflicting with my on-campus class, I try to do it. Mm -hmm. And any issues, technical issues with students with Zoom? Every once in a while, we have a technical issue. Sometimes somebody logs on and they're um, microphone doesn't work or their video camera doesn't work and so I'll use the chat box to talk to them mm -hmm. and I'll recommend hey just restart zoom mm -hmm. and nine times out of ten that fixes the problem mm -hmm. um, if it doesn't sometimes students will call in they'll be connected with the computer and they'll call in on a phone to get the voice and I do have a few students who say well wait I don't have a webcam do I need one I say that's okay you don't need a webcam it's right. okay if you don't show your face uh -huh. during a zoom call like it's nice I like to see who you are but yeah. you don't want to show your face that's okay or if you're not able to that's okay I like especially what you're showing on the screen now what should you expect in this meeting because students I think oftentimes this is going to be a format that's likely new to online students they maybe have never used zoom before so you setting some expectations just so that they know like this isn't going to be some scary thing. You're a friendly person who is setting them up for success. I think that is really cool. Yeah, and that's that's what I want. I want them to feel that I'm not just an absent instructor, that they're not alone while taking an online course, that I'm here to help. And I think that if they've talked to me and they know that I'm asking, how are things going, right? Have you got your computer set up? Oh wait, you haven't gotten it set up yet? Let me help you. Then they're more likely to come back and ask for help when they really need it, when the material gets hard in the course. And the other wonderful thing about requiring a Zoom session, I, I require it within the first two weeks, but try to get students to do it in the first week, is that I don't have students who are now at the ad drop deadline saying, I haven't gotten my computer set up, I don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Right, we, we get that ironed out in the first week and now they're ready to just go. So all of your students having to connect with you on Zoom within the first two weeks, that's gonna sound like a lot of meetings to faculty who are watching this. So how do you get students double booked so that you're doing some overlapping or are you finding that it's like the first two weeks of your semester is like all the time on Zoom? <laughs> So the first two weeks of the semester um, are very challenging for me because I'm trying to meet everybody via Zoom. I'm trying to respond to everybody's um, introductory posts, um, respond to their getting to know you surveys. So it is a very time consuming part of the term for me. Mm -hmm. The first time that I did this meet the instructor via Zoom, I had a whole bunch of different time slots that students could sign up for. And I had very little overlap with students. Uh -huh. And I was on Zoom all the time. And so this term, I said, well, let me schedule fewer things to start with. And 
I've let students know, you, know, you can say, hey, if none of the Zoom sessions work with you, send a note with three to five suggested times and, and I'll create a new time. Uh -huh. And so I had just my regular office hours scheduled initially. And I have two hours of online office hours a week. And then I think I scheduled three extra meeting times this term. So it wow. really wasn't that much extra time on Zoom. Wow. Three extra total in addition to the two and two? Right. Wow. So I was, I was surprised. I thought for sure I'd have meeting times all over the place. But students really must have looked at this and said, oh, hey, you know, this needs to be the time that I can go online. And only and those what, how many students was that? And this was for one online class, and it was probably about 30 students at that mm -hmm. point. How many of them connected from their phone? Do you give that as an option, given that you're having them troubleshoot stuff and set up on their computer? Um, I'm not sure how many connected by, by phone, mm -hmm. because I didn't require that everybody share their screen. Mm -hmm. I know a few did, but I think most actually connected from their computer. Yeah. Which makes sense. I mean, it's a computer science course, so they're going to have a computer. And I find that more students have laptops than desktops these days. Uh -huh. so most of them have built-in microphones and cameras. Yeah, I think that's a really good way um, to get them familiar with the technology early on. And that last line that you have is just beautiful. Don't go out of your way to change your work schedule. Let me utilize the flexibility I have in my schedule to meet when it's convenient for you. If you're really doing some um, flexible outreach there to them, which is awesome. Yeah, and, and I want to meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. I, I want to help them. I also don't want to be up at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> right. But usually we can find something that is um, comfortable for me and convenient for them. 